Alright, hey guys, this is uh, Aaron, KB9MTD. I just wanted to show off our, uh, show off my little Arden mobile node that, uh, that I've kind of thrown together, if you call it that, ad hoc network with an ad hoc, uh, <laughs> put together. But anyways, um, sorry about the shakiness, I'm, I'm recording with my phone, but I just wanted to show this, um, it, I'm, showing a link here from my mobile node to uh... which is this guy right here, my mobile node uh, web address, is a local address and I'll show you how it's put together in a second but it's seeing my computer at home um... the web server on a computer at the house uh, and it's also seeing my main node at the house and then that's how it sees this one so my mobile node sees this node which in turn sees this node which shows that there's a link there um, uh, obviously if it shows either one of them there's a link there um, and these are all like the little extra things that I have plugged in some are in use some are not uh, but anyways uh, I wanted to actually show the node itself and how I have it set up um, and pointed in what direction this that and the other but um, give me one second and I'll get back I'll get outside and do it it's kind of cold outside right now and no snow on the ground yet but um, I didn't want to have you go through all the setup and all that stuff so give me a second and I'll be right back okay back outside this is it I'm in a local park here in Dixon Illinois and uh, what I'm doing here is uh, showing off the node this uh, node shoots from this location you can see it right here this is the actual node on a, on a window washing push-up pole. It's not extended up all the way, but most of the way, and it's like a, I don't know, I say it's 20, 25 foot pole or something like that. But uh, anyways, the pole faces that way, in that direction, and it's uh, pointing to that tower right there. And that tower is on the other side of it, about maybe a mile length or some, or a distance or so, um, is my home. And it's the KB9 MTD1, so it's uh, shooting across the river through a couple dead, not dead trees, but trees with leaves off and all that stuff here in the wintertime. So, um, but this is a node. Like I said, the way to have it set up is is with a push-up pole um, with cheap Cat5 cable. Um, I know it's not really uh, ideal, but. It's pretty neat. So it's pointed in that direction. Push it up, pull. I got it rigged up to the to the uh, post here. But what I have here is uh, <laughs> a concoction of wires. Um, but all it is is uh, electricity is coming out of the pole or out of the outlet to power. Um, I couldn't get this in there. This power strip I had to take part because it uh that plug won't fit inside of there um but anyways it gets power from inside of there i have the network the node hooked up um into the poe injector and then the, i have a, a ddwrt flashed linksys router uh cheapy any of them will do but um to get access to it so Really, it's I can get access to any computer from any computer now. It's an open network, or I can password it, what have you, in that direction, or in in that way. But um, really, this is it. It's pretty sweet. Um, and really, this one can be uh, powered via uh, a battery power. Also, uh, this this Linksys router can run off 12 volts, one amp, and uh, the note itself. Oh, I think this is a TP-Link 210 um, access point, uh, or not an access point, but a CPE, and I think that one's 18 to 24 volts, I believe. So, I guess the way to check it would be it would be on this whatever this puts out. It shows 24 volts. It have an amp. So, if I can get, you know, a couple 12 volt batteries. And then it'll power it that way. I can run one one thing off of one battery and the other off of the other two batteries. So pretty pretty slick setup. So 
Anyways, just wanted to show it. Um, I, only, I also have it all set up minus the uh, push-up pole. All this stuff fits in a fits in a little ammo crate. And my ammo crate, or if you want to call it a go kit, whatever. Um, come from Walmart, tam tactical ammo box. Uh, it all fits inside here. Um, there's a pole. There's a yeah, a tray lifts out. Everything else sits inside. Extra cables, another CPE if necessary, and uh, another power injector. This one right here is for some uh, five gigahertz one, but I wrote myself some directions on how to do how to do it if I need to reset it. Got me a good old paper clip, and it all fits in a little can like or little ammo can just like this. Got a little couple little radios for just local talking if necessary um, old school plug to get some fi to get five volts out if I need to charge something battery this battery will actually run that um, um, this injector and also if necessary the uh, the uh, Linksys router so um, just in case I don't smoke anymore it's, it's bad for you but yeah local communications this is this just gets you know, thrown around inside the inside the truck, and uh, it rides with me all the time. So just in case, a little MCOM um, stuff going on here. Anyways, talk to you later, guys. Thanks for listening. KB9MTD73.